hi everybody and uh, if you like my video please like and subscribe and uh, I appreciate it so much and I got all my chores done and I fed my doggies and my kitties and I had me a bite to eat then I left the computer on I always do and I started hearing the weather report and uh, oh boy this was a surprise really so I hope you can hear it I'm gonna turn him on and uh, this will involve a lot of states update I appreciate all my followers and my new followers out there if you are new to the channel and like detailed weather breakdowns on North America and the tropics go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get all of my daily updates to keep you ahead of the storm so let's get right to this morning yesterday we had a massive i mean massive storm that impacted uh, parts of alaska western alaska there it dropped down to a 937 millibar low pressure this was the remnants of a pacific typhoon that impacted that area with 54 foot waves offshore 18 foot storm surge life threatening flash flooding and that encompassed it that same storm hit over the united states that did include about 13 States. <laughs> that shows you how massive this storm was. And that storm is actually going to be buckling the jet stream today. So it's going to be winding down up there in Alaska. But now it's all that same energy that's going to be pulled in southward and going to be impacting parts of California with this low pressure center. These powerful winds are going to be racing across. And that is going to set the stage for new development over parts of the upper Midwest with some stronger thunderstorms later on this afternoon. In fact, we talked about this yesterday. We talked about that we're gonna upgrade this to an enhanced risk, and they did in fact upgrade this to an enhanced risk for severe storms. So yes, later on today, I'm thinking about eight o'clock in the early evening time frame, headed into the overnight, we could be looking at some supercell thunderstorms breaking out in parts of Iowa, parts of uh, Illinois, as well as uh, Indiana, parts of Missouri here. If you live in those areas, you need to be on high alert for some high impact storms later on this afternoon into the overnight hours. So the main concern with these storms in these areas in places like Des Moines and the Cedar Rapids, going into Peoria, back into Davenport, Iowa City, those areas into Springfield are gonna be on high alert. When you're talking this hashed risk, this is a hashed risk, guys, that's indicative of two inch in diameter hailstones falling from the sky. That is your golf ball size hail. That is your tennis ball size hail. That's gonna do a lot of damage to vehicles if they are left outside. So again, the main time frame, I would say literally about eight o'clock tonight, going about two to three o'clock in the morning, that window, you need to be on high alert for all three modes of severe weather with those damaging winds upwards to 65 plus miles an hour along with that two inch diameter hail that doesn't mean everybody gets it about 10 percent will get it but those that do get it <laughs> it could do a lot of damage to their vehicles if not some of their houses and their roofs as well with that capability of producing some of those larger hailstones that fall out of the sky so like i mentioned the atmosphere is going to be pretty powerful with that low pressure center coming across so it should start to impact parts of california today with some heavier rains and some much needed rain for those areas but are also going to be packing some a stronger wind gust in its wake so you could be looking at some higher wind gusts in portions of central and northern california back in nevada back into uh, utah portions as well as into Colorado here and going into Kansas, but really start to intensify once we get into Missouri, especially into uh, Illinois, heading into Indiana later on tonight, into the overnight hours, and some isolated spots upwards, yeah, 65, 75, 80, if not maxing out possibly at 90 miles an hour at some of these locations. 90 miles zone, an hour? So definitely be on high alert for some pretty intense winds and oh back down the hatches gosh. later on tonight. And the Cape values are going to be pretty extreme, so that's just indicative. That's why we have that hatch risk in place with these Cape values of three to 4,000. That's typically about three to four times the typical thunderstorm. So that's really indicative of these 
larger updrafts. We're talking mm. cloud tops 50, 55, upwards to 60,000 feet in the atmosphere. And that is a lot of room to lift those hailstones further up in the atmosphere. And then once they fall, they could do some damage in whatever they hit in its path. So, but at the lower levels, unfortunately, the atmosphere will be rotating. So they do have an area of concern where they have that tornado risk in place where they have about a 5% chance. But these tornado parameters are nothing to sneeze at. I mean, they're max out about 15. So this is probably the highest levels that we've seen so far in the past couple of months, really. So we're starting to get into that second season. We talked about after the middle of September. This is always typically where you have to watch out for that second season. And this is our first, you know, quote unquote, you know, bigger type severe weather event that we have to be on look at looking out for later on t later on tonight. I think about like again yeah, eight o'clock to about three o'clock in the morning. So if you live I don't like storms lighter, coming in the middle of the night. High alert with all three modes for severe weather. And here's the overall updraft helicity index as well. So that's just indicative where some of the higher cloud tops could be, where the atmosphere could be rotating, where you could be seeing some of those larger hailstones fall out of the sky, so it just kind of gives you an idea of what these parameters, what we're looking at, and that's why the Storm Prediction Center upgraded that to that enhanced risk for severe storms later on this evening. But now let's take a look at the drought model, right? So there's been some That areas map that looks horrible. Terrible. Plate, but there's a lot of areas that still need Y'all might have seen it already. Fall. And that one area My is goodness. California, so it's nice to see that storm system coming into Northern California, you know, bringing those heavier rains to that part of the country, that is definitely a good welcome sight. And with all the monsoonal flow we've seen lately, it... I sure wasn't expecting no storm like that to come. No, I sure wasn't. My goodness. And my kids are in Indiana, and uh, I'm here in Iowa, so, I'll have a sleepless night tonight, I guess. <laughs> oh my goodness, I wasn't expecting this at all. For heaven's sakes. No. Well, anyway, I was going to do a video and uh, go through some cosmetics for us ladies. You know, and uh, simple, uh, hyperallergenic cosmetics that don't hurt your skin. And, because uh, we all... We want to be pretty, you know, we really do. We want to stay and keep our appearance the best we can. And that makes us feel good. And that makes us live longer, plus having pets. Yeah, so, um, but boy, I guess we better batten down the hatches. Yeah, well, I'm going to work on my next video, but I thought I'd get this one posted. And uh, in case you haven't seen the map, or that uh, or heard it on the news if you're in any of those areas and it's going to hit a lot of states so uh, you might want to check into your weather reports on your weather channels and um, I'll talk to you all maybe later I'll do another one because I want to uh, get into the cosmetics really I do because um, we like them we're ladies we just want to be pretty you can't judge us on that one huh you <laughs> can't okay I'm gonna say goodbye for now and stay safe oh for heaven's sake stay safe bye